I'm a dramatic book reviewer. I bring current contemporary books to life. Like this book that Laura Claridge wrote about me. I love that I get to do what I love to do. Read, be my own boss, uh, write, and perform in a 45 minute hour venue to all different kinds of groups. Back then, I assumed I was just going to be a housewife. Little did I know that I would become a household name. If you tell the story well enough, you can become that character through a little uh, a hat and a scarf or a pair of gloves. I'm a great history lover, so I love learning more about these famous people or historical people. I love them all. And as I perform them and write about them, and it's as if I do know them. And, uh, and, and I think people feel that way in my performance. Voltaire, Rousseau, Diderot. I could not help but daydream about one day becoming the Empress and bringing the Enlightenment to Russia. I think I'm a good storyteller because of my dad. And I think it was growing up in our house, he was a great storyteller. He inspired people to get excited about literature, about what the power of a poem can do, what the power of a story can do, and how important literature is to our lives. But alone at night trying to sleep, you've been there, I worried about everything. How would I sell my houses in this economy? How would my friends treat me now that I was a pork person of reduced circumstances? <laughs> my mom is a brilliant writer. She has a great flair for what a story needs. The collaboration that I have with my mom is that we've created this way of bringing a book to life. Emily Post had to survive her husband cheating on her and spending all her money. Alexandra Penny had to survive losing all her money, and they each did by their own resourcefulness. People like to laugh. That's a key element of being a good storyteller. Even if you're Catherine the Great, you have to tell a joke every once in a while. I like the idea of high heels, and I can stand perfectly still in them for a little while. <laughs> and then comes the inevitable moment when I must walk across the floor to go to the bathroom or find the bar, and there I am, walking like a duck. <laughs> I'm encouraging people to read the book. I'm saying this is a worthwhile book. This is a worthwhile experience. And I hope that the authors would be excited by what I have to do, of, of how I present their material. To take an hour of time and to actually get to experience something that's educational, academic, and entertaining. And then to be maybe inspired to read more about that person or to have a discussion. I think we need that.